So uh, again, I explained it in video one, but uh, I've got a New Holland um, LB75B and uh, it's like a 2001 year model. And uh, you know, it seemed pretty straightforward, looked at the parts list. Uh, they have all these gaskets for the seal kit. Um, and it does say in there that the seal kit was upgraded. But uh, I went and checked it out, got the part numbers, then I searched online. The very first thing I did was I bought a aftermarket um, kit. And, you know, there, this is like the cleanup, the secondary seal. This is the main C cup or the cup seal that's for the hydraulic um, main piston. Um, you're going to see an array of other miscellaneous pieces here because I bought two kits. So first thing that happened was I bought an aftermarket kit. And, um, you know, when I took this thing off, I like to keep track of the gaskets or the seals that are in there and uh, match them up to the kit. Now, first thing I noticed when I bought this, uh, this aftermarket kit was that the seals didn't match up. Now, the seal for the, the plunger part of the of the cylinder that goes at the end of the main rod that goes in and out this seal and everything on this one went on fine i mean it, it was pretty much exact match to uh what came off of it which, which is great so this this was easy to do uh it's just really this outside seal here and underneath this seal there's actually another rubber this is a two-piece seal there's a rubber seal underneath this that you stretch over and then there's a big metal groove here you stretch that first seal on and then this um kind of like band goes on top of that seal to uh to make that that full gasket or that full seal and of course uh you know this goes under the cylinder and on this side is where uh the actual bolt bolts into the rod and, and you're good so this this is fine this was very easy to do uh these gaskets with just a basic you know pick or something easy to take off so then we get to the uh the gland and these you know should be pretty easy also it had a uh had a wiper seal like this right here that was uh in the end it's kind of hard to see but it's really just there to to keep the cylinder clean any debris so that things don't get introduced into the hydraulic system uh there's two seals in here there when i took this apart this was actually a two-piece gasket seal here and then there was another little rubber seal further down into here um Took those out, set them aside. They were in pretty bad shape, but they were still usable. I mean, not usable, but still complete. Uh, here was another O-ring gasket. And um, no, actually, this is the wire, retaining wire. And this was a O-ring gasket. And that was a two-piece O-ring gasket. Um, one flat and then one round. Um, and again, very easy to put this on. The retaining wire should go back on fine. <laughs> But the real struggle, that the main work for putting um, the seals on this gland is going to be putting in uh, these two seals and then putting on this um, this dust seal, this outside seal here. Now, the reason I'm making this second part video, because normally this would be pretty simple. Uh, you can look around on YouTube and, and so forth. These, uh, these gaskets and seals, they should all go together pretty simple. Uh, I had a lot of problems trying to get this um, cup seal inside of this gland. Now, at first, it was I ordered an aftermarket set, so I figured, okay, you know, why didn't I go with OEM? I know it's half the price, but um, I should've just went with OEM. But I ordered this, didn't fit, struggled with it, ended up getting, it's hard to see, I ended up accidentally cutting this seal right here. Um, when I was trying to jam this inside of there, I have, uh, I have the actual tool that lets you bend it. I mean, you don't have to have one of these to be honest with you. Um, you know, you can bend that by hand. If you're smart enough with your thumb, you can kind of roll it and get it in there. Uh, I, I but I agree that it, it does make this easier to get in. So this is not a requirement to have one of these tools, but it does make it easier to get in. So anyway, so. Uh, the cup, you know, goes with the groove toward uh, the inside, so you would you would put it down like this inside of there, um, and you'd have to get it in there. So the problem I had was this is nowhere near going to go in there. I mean, it's just way too big for this uh, this gland, and I'm fighting with it. So I ordered the OEM kit. I was like, all right, they sent me the wrong thing. I'm going to order the OEM kit. It came with 
um, another one, which I'll show you in just a moment, uh, but it was just a tad smaller than this one. So I thought maybe that's all it needed. So I again tried to work it in there and it wouldn't go in. I mean, as you can see, here's here's the the OEM one has this color. I mean, you can see the blue ones are bigger, a little bit bigger, um, you know, and it was on the other one too. But anyways, so there's that. All the other gaskets though lined up fine. So this it was really just these two. Oh no, I was wrong. This wiper seal here did not line up fine. So I tried to get the wiper seal and um, tried to tap it in. I had read online that some of these won't tap in very easily. So you get a hydraulic press and you push it in. Um, I did that. I got it lined it up just right. I even used a little piece of wood to uh, to kind of you know comfort the top because this gasket is this gasket's just a tad bit outside the metal. Anyways, I started trying to press that in and press that in. Let me show you what that uh, lovely seal ended up doing. It ended up actually crushing it. Uh, I don't know if you can see here, but it just would not go in and it ended up bending the actual seal. As you can see here, you can see the marks from where that hydraulic press was really pushing it in. And then this seal just gave up and, and bent um, in a... I guess unusable fashion. I can't. I can't use that now. It, it's messed up. So. So anyway. So what does all of this mean? So, I bought the aftermarket kit, thinking, okay, um, you know, they'd be cheaper. Saved half price. This was like forty bucks. The the other kit was like eighty bucks, seventy something bucks. Anyways, uh, OEM kit gets here. Same problem. Same. Everything's pretty much the same. I can't get it in there. Can't get anything going on. Um, this, I, the OEM kit, I ordered through the dealer. I actually called them up, gave them my serial number, gave them everything, said I need the seal kit for, for my tractor. It's one of the good things about getting OEM. You can just give them your serial number and they can look it up. So great. We got the OEM kit. They found it, came and picked it up, tried to work on it and, uh, didn't work. So I played with it for a little while, wasted probably an hour or two on it and, uh, said that there's something's got to give. So I took this. To my local New Holland dealership uh, for the parts department so I took my gland and after digging around we found out that uh, this is the right seal kit but if you are going to replace the seals on your backhoe that's that's my model you also have to buy a new gland because they decided to change the gland and um, they no longer make the seals for the old gland and you can't find the seal kit for the old gland. I've looked all over the place, can't find it. And uh, so essentially, I've been jacking around with this thing and it's uh, not even usable anymore. So I went and bought a the new gland. Here, 150 bucks for a new gland because they decided to change their part numbers and they didn't want to make a seal kit for it no more. So fine, 150 bucks. Um, this you know it, and it works i got the i used the tool i grabbed the seal popped it in there and the thing just went in like no problem at all i mean i probably could have just pushed it in with my finger so now it's in there i don't want to pick it out and show you how easy it goes in there just trust me it just went in like nothing so if you're struggling with getting this c cup in especially if you already have the tool that helps you kind of bend it in there and get it in there then just stop because something's not right. You this these seals, these C cup or cup seals. These, oh, sorry, I got to edit that out. Whatever they call these, um, flat out should just pop right in. I mean, you've got to get them down there and below it, so you've got to bend it. But I mean, when you take this tool out and let it go to its normal shape, it should just pop in. I mean, that thing just popped right in. And I'm assuming all the other parts are going to do it. But what frustrates me is I like to have the right tools. So I bought this spanner wrench because, uh, you know, I'm sure my other cylinders are going to start going out on me. And uh, once one, then probably the rest. So I bought the spanner wrench that's going to fit on it. And uh, so now they went with a pen style spanner. So uh, now I'm going to have to go order another type of wrench because, yeah, I'm sure I can just go and put a pipe wrench on that thing and gnaw away at it. But that's just not really how I like to do things. 
So now I've got to buy this other pin style uh, wrench. And that's about another 30 bucks online. So long story short is if you're having any problems getting these seals in, don't just think, hey, these are a struggle. These people that do this thing, they, they know what they're doing, this miraculous whatever. No. I showed these guys at the New Holland dealership. They were just as puzzled as I was until we found out that they just decided to change the gland too. And, um, and yes, pretty much spanner wrench, um, you know, a pick or two. That's all this guy's got at the, uh, the tractor dealerships to be working on these. I mean, they don't really have a whole bunch of fancy tools. And uh, to be honest with you, when I told them that I used the pinion method to get the dot, this, uh, this gland out versus torching it off and everything else, uh, they had no idea what I was talking about and uh, they'd never even heard of it, which is kind of crazy for a pretty good size tractor dealership. But anyways, um, the peening method definitely tries. If you're having a hard time getting this gland off, definitely check out the other video or go into it. But uh, don't mess up your gland, especially if you've got one that's usable. I could, this one, luckily, I had to hack at it so much that it did kind of mess the gland up. So I don't feel completely bad that I had to replace the gland. But, um, but it is pretty frustrating that they just decide to change the parts and, and make you go buy, you know, a whole other piece. Um, but anyways, so... Um, you know, don't don't struggle with it too much. These seals should go in. This seal, they even told me, well, not this one because it's busted, but the good version of this seal should just, I mean, look at it. It even sits fine. You should be able to just sit it there and lightly tap it in, and all of these seals should go in with no problem. So do not struggle like I did over and over and over again to try to make these seals work thinking that they, you know, are right and you're just not doing things right or something no they should all fit very simple and very easy going on um that's all i'm gonna do on this video i'm gonna put it together but uh um because again i'm not gonna hold the camera going through all of these things but again all of this stuff should go in pretty simple and um i will do another video when i'm putting it back on the tractor and testing it out so anyways i hope this helps you know some of the things you're going to want you know this th these are pretty cheap um you can find these online all day long for like 20 25 bucks for a set of three of them um this one's the smaller size to use smaller seals but you know they, they come usually three uh you can spend more if you want i saw some for a couple hundred bucks but all they are is they got little fancy handles whatever um pick set you know, these are something good to have to try to pick these, uh, these seals out. <laughs> Again, um, there's a Harbor Freight near me and, uh, where I, where my land is and not a Home Depot or anything. So, um, honestly, you'll see a lot of these little cheap tools like this from Harbor Freight, but I mean, come on two bucks and, uh, this thing is, is works fine. So, and it comes with a set of four of these picks, right? So here's some more. Um, so a couple bucks Harbor Freight for some picks. And uh, again, if you're sticking with the old style, you know, I mean, I know you're going to have to get rid of them, but if you're, you know, you can do whatever you have to do. I guess apparently you can just tear them up to get them off. Uh, but I, like I said, got this spanner wrench to use for this, but now I've got to go get the other wrench. Um, and I think they also call these spanner wrenches, but they're called like pin spanners or something. I don't know, something like that. I'll, uh, I'll show you the tool when I put it back together because I'm going to buy it. I don't want to, I don't want to tear up the gland putting it back together, but, um, but anyways, I think that's it. I just wanted to give you guys an update on that. Um, you know, I should have known that that wasn't the right seal when I was messing with it. Of course it wasn't. And I should have known to look deeper into why is this not working, especially when the second piece came. Um, so luckily I brought it to the dealership and we looked at it, but that's just ridiculous. So anyways, uh, long story short, I'll have this thing put together hopefully soon and I'll get the uh, next video online. Thanks everyone. And again, if these videos are helpful, I know I talk a lot in them, but, uh, and I really try to break things down pretty simple, uh, give you my experiences as I go. I'm no expert, but I'll try to break down what I'm having, the, the follies of course, like this that I've had. And, uh, so if you like these videos, please, you know, thumb up the video, give me a subscribe. Uh, that all helps me out. So thank y'all. Take care.